Hey YouTube Pipe community, got another Yabo today. You might hear Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood in the background because little man and I are alone and I really like Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Also you might see right here, it's where we put the child. It's a joke. My, uh, my brother-in-law owns a humongous dog named Baymax and uh, two of us, uh, his uh, in-laws and Ariel and myself are taking turns babysitting him. And he's big. He's a Mastiff Pit something else. He's about 110 pounds and a cuddle bug. So, all right. What's the Yabo today? Wiz D. Whatever you think of Wiz D, he says it like he sees it. He's not playing a game. He's not trying to hide uh, malicious things he has done. He is out in the open. You may hate his opinion, and hey, that's fine. Sometimes his opinions are wrong. But he's a good guy who, like I said, tells it like it is and doesn't try to hide. All right? So let's see what he sent. He likes Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, too. You see that? What's this one about? This is about helping your parents, I think. It's later. And later in the series, it's like seven or eight seasons of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Get on it. I'm using my keys because I don't have a knife. Um, what kind of key is this? It's a uh, Hillman USA key. One of the best keys. There we go. Haven't smoked anything today. Wait, no, I did. What did I smoke today? Oh, um little mixture of McClellan's with uh, it's a red cake and Amsterdam shag. So let's see what he this is like a sweet tamper. Man. Uh, my mother-in-law was just here. Um, my wife and her they're actually doing a fundraising event today going to some craft house, making these craft pieces. And then the, uh, the, the money made today at this craft house uh, is, is a specific amount is going to my brother-in-law. So that's where they're at. And my mother-in-law, Lori, wants to say thank you, everyone. She appreciates everything that's going on and uh, appreciates you guys. So, the sweet tamper. Does it stand? It'll stand like this, I tell you that. There's also a pipe in here, guys. There's a note. I didn't know if there would be a note. Mr. Provost, that's me. These are for the auction, and I hope it helps you raise more money for your brother-in-law. You're a good man. Your opinion's right there. You're a good man for doing this for him. Hope for a speedy recovery. Wiz D. See? His opinion isn't always wrong. Thanks. Thanks, Wiz. You going to Chicago show this year? I hope so. It's been too long since I've seen you. Uh, Pipes Magazine radio show um, last Tuesday. I don't know if it'll be the last Tuesday by the time we post this video, but they had um, Rick Newcomb on. Talk about Stanwell. And some Stanwell pipes, apparently they used a uh, 3D printer for the pipe shapes. That's awesome. I would like to do that, you know? Just have a 3D printer, pipe after pipe after pipe. I also was smoking a Stanwell yesterday, a Stanwell Freehand Queen. Uh, he took the stem out. Again, whenever you ship a pipe, make sure you take the stem out. I'll reassemble it in the bag. I won't even look. I'm not looking. Oh, I can look at you guys and continue talking. Okay, I can't reassemble it in the bag. Might be unsmoked if that filter's in there, buddy. Let's check this out. Feels like a good good hunk of briar in there. All right, I have to look, because I, I have to look, too. I was going to try to... Unsmoke Stanwell. And we got the, uh, the brush design in the bulldog. nice light pipe too 
drillings right down at the bottom. Wiz, thank you so much. This will be a great piece for someone to get their hands on, going to a great cause. Smoke on. I'm not going to. Sydney, can you say goodbye? Can you say bye? Don't interrupt my Daniel Tiger's neighborhood is what he says.